Technology has revolutionized how we live, work, and connect. But while some of us enjoy ultra-fast internet, smartphones, and digital services at our fingertips, millions of people around the world are left behind. This is the reality of the digital divide, the gap in access to technology that intensifies inequality on a global scale. The digital divide isn't just about who can access the internet, it's about disparities in affordability, infrastructure, digital literacy, and access to devices. According to the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, over 2.7 billion people, almost a third of the global population, remain offline in 2023. While wealthier nations like the U.S. and much of Europe have nearly universal Internet access, many developing regions are struggling. Sub-Saharan Africa is one of the hardest-hit areas, where Internet penetration is just 40%. According to World Bank, nearly 60% of people in countries like South Sudan, Chad, and the Central African Republic still lack internet access. In contrast, countries like South Korea and Japan boast near total connectivity. In South Korea, government investments in high-speed internet have made it one of the most connected countries in the world, with over 95% of households having access to the internet. However, the consequences of this divide is far-reaching. In education, students in regions without reliable internet access are at a severe disadvantage. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this became painfully clear as remote learning surged in wealthy nations, while millions of students in poorer regions were left without access to online education. UNESCO reported that, in 2020, almost 1.6 billion learners worldwide were affected by school closures, but children in sub-Saharan Africa and rural areas in India, Pakistan, and Latin America face the greatest barriers to online learning. Beyond education, the digital divide has profound economic consequences. In today's increasingly digital economy, businesses without access to technology fall behind. In countries with low digital penetration, workers miss out on opportunities for better-paying jobs in tech-driven industries. A report from the Brookings Institution estimates that countries in Latin America, like Nicaragua and Honduras, will lose out on billions of dollars in economic growth if digital gaps are not addressed. The digital divide in healthcare also highlights the disparity between individuals equipped with access to digital health technologies and the requisite skills for their efficient use and those lacking in these areas. Rooted in factors such as socioeconomic status, geographic locale, age, and education, this divide significantly influences patient outcomes, care accessibility, and healthcare delivery efficiency. Nonetheless, governments, NGOs, and tech companies are working to close the digital gap. The United Nations launched its Digital Cooperation Roadmap aimed at expanding affordable internet to underserved regions by 2030. Google's Project Loon used balloons to deliver internet to rural parts of Kenya, and Microsoft's Airband Initiative aims to provide broadband access to 40 million people globally by 2025. In India, the government's Digital India Initiative has been a flagship project to bring high-speed internet to rural villages, boosting connectivity for over 250,000 villages. However, despite these efforts, challenges remain, particularly in maintaining the infrastructure and making it affordable for low-income communities. Private companies are also playing a crucial role. In addition to Google and Microsoft, Facebook's Express Wi-Fi initiative has been instrumental in expanding internet access in areas of India, Nigeria, and Tanzania. Public-private partnerships are seen as key to addressing the high cost of infrastructure development, especially in remote areas where traditional broadband is difficult to deploy. However, Critics argue that these efforts must prioritize not just access, but digital literacy. Simply providing connectivity isn't enough. People need the skills to navigate, utilize, and benefit from the digital world. As the world becomes increasingly reliant on digital technologies, the divide will only widen unless proactive measures are taken. Organizations like the World Economic Forum predict that without interventions, by 2030, over 70% of new value created in the global economy will come from digital services. For nations without access, this will further entrench economic inequality.
Looking ahead, the global community must commit to not only expanding infrastructure, but also promoting policies that foster affordability and digital skills training for all. Technology has the power to uplift societies, transform economies, and bridge divides. But if the digital gap continues to widen, billions of people will be left behind. Closing the digital divide is not just a matter of connectivity, it's a matter of global equity. The future depends on it. Join us for another insightful episode on Tuesday. Thank you for watching.